I am annoyed by many types of hypocrisy and double standards. And a double standard that I see, and I'm, I'm, I just became very annoyed at it, is when someone will say that, oh, you should pay attention to the message, not the way that it's said, when they're saying something in the harshest way possible. You know, oh no, they, they should, uh, people should pay attention to the message. And yet, you know, I, I, I've said this one before, feminists like Big Red, well, would you shut up for just a moment? You know, her, right? Um, you won't listen to her because of the way that she's saying it. Oh, but that's, that's different. That's an attitude about it. Fine, but it's still the way something is being said. Then we have a situation. Uh, Red Ice TV, Red Ice Media, uh, they might have another channel. They, they got banned from YouTube. They got Their channels got terminated. And I see a number of videos of people being outraged at them being terminated. And I'm not saying it's a good thing that they got terminated. I, I you know, I, I don't like their content, but I'm not going to say it's a good thing they got terminated. It's to be expected, but I, I'm not saying it's a good thing. People are outraged at them being terminated, saying, well, they, they never said anything directly hateful. They were always very professional. So people shouldn't pay attention. So in this case, people should focus more on the fact that they worded it nicely than their actual message. So if someone is trying to claim that black people are inferior, if they word it just the right way, it should be an acceptable message. If, they, if someone uh, words uh, the great replacement theory in just the right way, it, it, should, uh, it should be an acceptable message. It should be, a, you know, it should be all cool. You know, different standards. And some of these people are the same ones who, who demand that if they're, they're really harsh and are mean and nasty in the way they word things, that people should listen to the message. I don't know. I mean, I also think about uh, those fake grievance studies. Uh, one of them, you know, they, there were a couple that got peer-reviewed to my knowledge. One of them, one of the, the fake grievance studies, actually took Mein Kampf and reworded it, worded it just the right way, and, and it was accepted. You know, I, I mean... What's happening to us? You know? Yeah, I mean, if you're going to push the message that the, the, what's actually being said, the meat and potatoes of what's being said is what's important, then make sure you hold that standard all the way around. Okay, that's all I'm saying here.